Okay, hey people, so it's Matt here from Matt Carve, so we're first going to choose a bit of wood. And this is the wood we're going to use today, and it doesn't look great. It's, it's really heavy, this wood. This is gum, well I think it's gum anyway. Or it could be Jara. Uh, Jara is pretty hard as well. It's sort of like, probably about the hardness of Purple Heart, which I've got a little piece here. Uh, which is pretty cool wood, it's kind of pink and well, purple. And we're going to use that later on for the flames, yes. Okay, so let's go and cut this up. Uh, good bit of a mess there, so I cleaned that up and I'm just cutting it out. And well, I jumped ahead because I forgot to turn the camera on. So I've blocked it out, and here is the start of the dragon. And this is a pretty tough carve. I've never actually carved a dragon's body before, let alone the wings of the dragon. So I'm going to start with something I'm quite familiar with, and that is the dragon's head. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to feel a sense of accomplishment and if it all goes wrong I'll just chop the dragon's head off and use it as a sort of wall hanging I think. Anyway, we're going to look positive though and move on. So uh, here I am, I'm just shaping it out. Uh, you saw a gl brief glimpse of a book that I'm using as reference material. So there is the dragon and the head's pretty much complete. So we're going to attack the legs now with the little terrier which uh, just rips through this hardwood. I tend to use that for kind of like a blocking out and then go into the flame burr. That's the extreme flame burr from Cutsall. Okay, so we are using this book here as reference material. I'm sort of like looking at a lot of the different kind of dragons in there and just sort of like choosing bits that I like, uh, like the thighs at the moment are kind of like problematic. So I'm sort of like looking at each one of their thighs and how they join the body. Okay, so that is the Cutsall Inverted Cone Bear. It's uh, brilliant for carving those little thighs there. So if you're into thighs and you want to carve them all, well, I guess that's the bear for you. So, uh, yeah, and we're back to using the little terrier. Okay, so I'm working on the foot now and in between the legs. Uh, you've got to be very careful with that little terrier because it'll just rip through things and chop your fingers off or take a leg out of the dragon. Okay, I've tended to spend a lot of time, if people were looking at me, uh, looking at this dragon's butt, which is kind of weird. Uh, but it's just trying to get get your head around how those legs are going to fit onto the body and uh, I've finally actually got all my burrs in order as you can see there. Ah oh, no, you know what's happened here. The leg fell off and um, uh, Well, that's kind of predictable. Those things kind of happen on these little intricate carvings uh, So I've decided I'm going to finish the foot away from the leg and then I will glue it back on but here we have the foot that is remaining on my one-legged dragon at the moment yes so we're going in with diamond burrs and just putting in details here if I got sick of doing feet so we are moving on to the wings so this is uh, gum again and I've used tin foil to sort of like imitate the wing and then I'm sort of like cutting out the profile so I try and like get rid of as much material as I can on the bandsaw. So I'm going to cut out this wing and then they're going to flip over that foil and make the other side of the wing. So there it is, the uh, wing there. Okay, so now we're back to shaping with that extreme burr. Uh, really, really good for that. Gets into those little tight spaces and uh, just trying to get those spines right. Uh, just trying to give it a sort of like a dynamic kind of feel and try and like work out, oh, it's got to be flying like this when it's on the dragon and it's pulling back from, you know, that flame that's burring out of its mouth. Okay, so there's the flame there, which is a triangle piece of purple heart. Now, here we go. We're going to be making the flames now. 
Okay, so let's take a short interlude where I follow these little tracks. Look what good they go to. These are little birds called Wicca. And they are a flightless little bird in New Zealand, uh, mainly found on the west coast of the South Island. Uh, and they're following me for uh, food, I believe. Uh, I've got none, sorry guys. Anyway. Okay, so as I walk through the stunning part of New Zealand with my wife Julie, I'd just like to give a few shout outs to a few people. And uh, Geordie from Carving Fusion, uh, awesome guy, and you should go and check out his channel. Really cool stuff. Uh, and he's a great teacher, really good at teaching people sort of right from the beginner stages. Yeah, and uh, his chainsaw, Dremel, a little bit of everything uh, specializes in those wood spirits. And uh, oh, check out all that stuff, Geordie. Look at all those uh, pieces of wood there. Awesome. Anyway, and Just Carve Rob and also Ben from Studio on a Lake. Yeah, shout out to those guys as well. They've been mentioning me. And it's really appreciated, you know. It's a nice community that we're all involved in. Okay, so back to carving the flame. Oh, did you see that? Okay, so uh, always got to be careful. And hand placement is essential when using uh, burrs and aggressive cutters. So we're going to use bamboo kebab sticks for the spikes on the dragon, yes. And I'm using a fine flame burr there from Katzel. And it's really good for when you're really going close to your fingers. Look at that. It doesn't even do anything to your finger. Wouldn't try that actually at home. Don't do that at home. Please don't do that at home. Uh, I don't want to be held responsible for anything. Um, maybe I've got really tough skin or something. I don't know. Anyway, so there's the uh, all these spikes I've made. Yes. Okay, and I have cut in the holes, uh, made some uh, glue up mixture there, and we're going to put in the spikes. And uh, they're very, very white. So I have actually stained the dragon with a mahogany stain, and I'll go over that also on the spikes and might sort of like sand that back a bit so uh, they're not so kind of like contrasting there. They kind of look like porcupine spikes actually. Anyway, so okay, so there's all these spikes in looking very dragon like now. It was kind of looked like a marsupial before. Okay, so uh, with these wings, I've put in a spike. Uh, you can never have too many spikes on a dragon. And here we go. We are putting that foot back on. Yes, it's gone from one-legged dragon to a two-legged dragon now. Okay, so thank you for watching. And we're just going to put the flames in. And here we go. Here we go.